Hi everyone, welcome to, or welcome back, to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If you're interested in fasting and understanding the intricate science therein, what you will learn here is unlikely to be something you've ever heard before, I can confidently say. In this content, we'll be dissecting a few pieces of data from a study that shows a unique relationship between fasting and inflammation, with water fasting increasing inflammation in people. But before you run off huffing about the impossibilities of that statement, bear with me. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. In this study, researchers recruited people to come into a laboratory and stay there for 10 days as they underwent a strict water fast completely supervised. The researchers took fat samples from the participants before they started their fast, one day into their water fast, and then again 10 days into the water fast, which was the end point of their fast. Then the researchers compared the gene expression of the fat tissue they sampled at the three time points and looked for differences. Fascinatingly, the no fasting condition compared to one day fasting showed no significant differences. But after 10 days of fasting, the gene profile changed dramatically, meaning the DNA expression, reading, within the cells was altered by water fasting. Then the researchers decided to focus in on certain subsets of interesting genes to focus their study. They looked at lipogenesis and lipolysis genes. These are genes that encode for fat accumulation in the cells, that's lipogenesis, and fat breakdown or release, which is lipolysis. Predictably, fat accumulation genes were repressed with fasting, but researchers also expected fat breakdown genes to be increased in their expression. But oddly enough, they did not find that to be the case, except for a small set of genes related to autophagy. This made them consider if something peculiar was happening related to inflammation. So they took what remaining samples they had and took microscope images of fat tissue from the participants before the fasting and at the 10 day fasting mark and measured the amount of macrophages, those are immune cells, found in the fat tissue. They saw there was an increased infiltration of immune cells in the fat tissue due to water fasting. Not only that, when they looked closer at the macrophage cells themselves, the macrophages were filled with lipid vesicles. Said differently, they were filled with sacs of fat. They did other experiments to determine if the macrophages were in their activated state, meaning their pro-inflammatory state, and found that the macrophages were in an in-between state between pro and anti-inflammation. This was corroborated by systemic inflammatory and anti-inflammatory markers. For that data, please refer to the attached notes. So what does this mean? Well, this told the researchers that it is possible, although more data is needed to confirm, that water fasting leads to an increase in inflammation in fat tissue by recruiting immune cells to the area. But why though? It's unknown, but based on the fact that autophagy, lysosomal genes, were upregulated in fat tissue and the macrophages were inundated with more fat droplets, it might imply that fat cells, instead of breaking down fat molecules on their own, they simply dump large sacs full of fat into the extracellular fluid, where macrophages take them up and possibly help break them down. Speculatively, this could be a reaction to such an extreme fat loss the body's undergoing from not consuming anything that the fat cells can't keep up by simply breaking down fat molecules in their own normal way. And instead of only relying on that system, recruit immune cells to help break down fat from storage. So is this inflammation bad? No, it's unlikely. It's simply a reaction to an extreme situation. However, while this is some data showing some of these effects, I would be remiss not to remind you that we need more concrete data to solidify these conclusions. Still, if true, that's pretty damn cool. I hope you agree. With that, I hope this proved informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. <laughs>